Hey, good day, saints. Look at what the Lord has done. I'm now standing in the backyard of a house of where I'm now staying. It's been really amazing what the Lord has done. When I first started out by a train line, <laughs> the first night I slept on the train line, the second night and the third night was in that park. Then the Lord took me to that bush area where I stayed out there for six months. And now this house. It's amazing, really amazing. How this house came about in the first place was from a lady who contacted me some time ago. She wanted some ministry. So I did some ministry with her, I mean, led her to repentance. She got baptized, she received the Holy Ghost, and then I took her on the street and kickstarted her. And we've been doing some discipleship since then. This house actually belongs to her husband's mother, who recently passed away. So now they let, they let me stay here, rent free. <laughs> And all, all I've got to do is just cut the grass and water some plants, right? That's all I do. And, but the great advantage is, not just for a place to lay my head, but I get to minister to her husband who was not born again, <laughs> okay? This is quite remarkable. The Lord's opened up this door now for me to preach to him and bring him to faith. The interesting, the interesting thing is that she had told me that her husband does not like Christians. Yeah, he doesn't like them, <laughs> and yet he, let me, he lets me live in his mother's house. I've had dinner with him and his wife. He's come over here many times doing a bit of work on the property, and we've had lots and lots of conversations, and he's really taken a liking to me. And because this is the Lord, the Lord has done this. You see, saints, this life of faith is not just about our comfort and our blessing. It, it's about saving the lost, seeking the save and the lost. It's about the ministry to the saints. It's about ministry to the lost. It's about fulfilling the will of God. It's about growing the kingdom of God. That's what it's about. Okay? And in the process, yes, the Lord does provide for us what we need. Yes, He does. So it's been wonderful. I mean, this is amazing. This is a beautiful house. I get to stay by myself. I get to live here for free. I mean, I've got the whole place to myself. It's really great. And it's really remarkable what God has done. These videos have been done specifically for you just to show you that God is faithful. If we just dare to step out and trust Him, okay, He will provide all of our needs. As you've seen in these videos, He's provided for me finance, if we need finance. He provided for me food and water and shelter and transportation, even laundry, <laughs> everything. And then when it comes to money, a lot of times we get so caught up in making a living, you know? But we're not called to make a living. We're called to live by faith. And if you need money, then God will provide it for you. But a lot of times we think we need money to buy things. Like we need money to pay rent or we need money to do this or this or that. That is not true. That's the world's idea. When, we, when we're children of God, He provides, for those, he provides those things for us supernaturally. For example, when it comes to money, sometimes, yes, the Lord will give me a casual job, I'll go and get some money. But other times, I've, I've found money on the street. I've had people give me money on the street. I even one time, just recently, <laughs> I was out getting some groceries. <laughs> and I'm in the deli section, and I'm looking at some fish. I really had this thought, oh, I'd like to get some fish. I want to have some fish for dinner tonight. Yeah, I really had this real design for some fish. <laughs> But, I looked, as I looked at the, but as I looked at the price of the fish, I thought, man, that's expensive. I don't want to pay that for fish. So I just sort of hovered around there for a little while, and, and then I looked down on the ground, on the floor, and I noticed there was $10 right next to my boot. And I thought, thank you, Lord. So I picked up that 10 bucks and bought myself some fish. Praise the Lord. So this is what God does. God provides things. He does. He really does, okay? If we're just faithful, if we just seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, then all of these things shall be added to us. Now, to seek first the kingdom of God, if we're born again, we already have the kingdom of God, okay? The kingdom of God is within us. We have it. So therefore, all these things are added to us, okay? He's made us the righteousness of God, so all these things are now added to us. We just got to believe that, okay? Stop working for a living and start working for Jesus, okay? 
give your life to him, serve him, okay? And he will use you to heal the sick, to cast out demons, to get people saved, to disciple people, okay? And to be an example of what it is to be a true disciple. Yes, there is discipline involved. Yes, there is. But God's grace is sufficient. It really is. Like Paul said, I can do all things. Not in my own strength, but in Christ's strength. Yeah? He gives me the strength to do it. Amen? He will do it, saints. He will. You may have to start out uncomfortable, but if you're faithful, He will lead you to better and better things. I started out by the train line, right? <laughs> Slipping on the ground next to a train line. And then he led me to a park, and then out in that bush, and things started to improve. Okay, they got better and better and better. Now it's giving me a house. <laughs> Man, what's next? Who knows? But it's going to be good, that's for sure. <laughs> right? But regardless, saints, it's not about our comforts, it's about winning the lost for Jesus Christ and making disciples of Jesus Christ. That's, what's all, that's all that matters. Okay? So I hope these videos have encouraged you and inspired you and proven to you that God is truly faithful. He is. Okay, saints? They're there for you. Okay? So use them to your advantage. Step out. Trust God. Okay? Okay, saints? It's been, it's been great. It really has. I mean, this life continues. It's not a season. It's a life. We live by faith. It's not a seasonal thing or something we do on a, on a mission trip. No, it's a life. Okay? And it's a wonderful life. We, we continue to do this until Jesus comes back, or until we go home and meet Him. Okay? That's a life. Amen? So, okay, saints. So, until next time, love you, love one another. God bless you. Amen.